3D printing has become more budget friendly than ever and if you're looking to dip your feet into the 3D printing world then this could be a good place to start. The Focus Odin 5 F3. The Focus Odin 5 is the first and currently only 3D printer created by Focus. It's an entry level 3D printer which comes at a time when home DIY and 3D printing has been at an all time high. Cheap and beginner friendly, it's marketed as a worry free first printer as well as a dependable workhorse for more experienced users. The printer itself arrives folded down within layers of foam protective material. What's unique about this system is that this is already 99% complete with only a few steps needed to be completed to get you ready to print your first 3D model. Also included in the package are all the tools you need to build and maintain the printer. Side cutters, a metal scraper, a nozzle cleaner, two spare nozzles, USB cable, even a micro SD card with a USB adapter containing a copy of the manual, slicer software and a couple of models. There's even a small spool of PLA plastic to get you going too. Moving back to the printer itself though, usually cheap, bare framed 3D printers like this one come in various states of unassembled. The Odin 5 on the other hand takes less than 5 minutes to set up, considering it's 99% pre-assembled already. The instructions literally only have 4 steps to them. First, unfold the unit, before installing and tightening the four Z-axis bolts, after which the structure is very firm. Second, we install the filament spool holder into its bracket and onto the printer using the two screws provided. Third, insert the ribbon cables to the connectors on the Z-axis and the extruder carriage. And finally, check that the belts, pulley wheels and other screws are nice and tight. So that's literally it. Yes, it does indeed fold, but it's more for ease of assembly than portability. Certainly not something you'd need to do very often to move the unit around for instance. Looking at the unit in a little more detail, we have some interesting points to note here. We have an overall sleek black metal finish, albeit with this bright yellow fan cover. And if that's not to your liking, fortunately you'll find files on the included USB drive to print another in your own choice of colour. Held down with four slender clips, the Odin 5 offers a spacious 9.2 by 9.2 by 9.8 inch build area over a textured heated glass print bed. This print bed should allow for better adhesion and smoother removal of prints, which is great to see in a budget level printer. Talking of printing, the system uses a direct drive extruder with dual Z axis supports for added stability during prints. The Odin achieves layers as small as 100 microns with this setup, which should provide for some decent models. Capable of printing in ABS, PLA, PETG and TPU, this printer gives you an average range of filament compatibility and new users will have plenty of options to experiment with, while experienced makers will be impressed with how the Odin 5 handles flexible filaments. Saying that, the spool holder is a little narrower than computing units, so may not hold larger spools as well. Hence you may want to make printing a larger spool holder a first printing project. Finally, the Odin 5 F3 features a large colour touch screen, for easy navigation during printing and levelling processes. The full colour touch screen controls are a little dim but still usable, although the menu system is really not too intuitive, so it does take some time getting used to, although it's enough to see you on your way. As it stands though, the system carries a pretty familiar design, with that easy assembly thrown in as an added bonus. I especially appreciate the textured glass build plate, since this is usually an upgrade many have to make out of pocket after buying other cheap starter printers. The Odin 5 is also equipped with a 32-bit motherboard and silent stepper motors, which are good specs to note when purchasing budget printers. One problem with the Odin 5 though, which is one that confronts most people trying to print in 3D, is bed levelling. Many printers now have automatic bed levelling and it won't take long to envy those with that feature, but the Odin 5 has assisted manual levelling, which means the printer will move the print head around the bed while you turn the adjustment knobs just beneath. To do this we press the home button to reset the machine's zero point, then select the levelling button on the home screen, after which we select any of the four corner points to begin. Slide a piece of ordinary paper between the nozzle and the bed and adjust the knobs until the paper just about catches on the nozzle. 
Continue until all points are dialed in and we should be ready to print, after loading some filament of course, which in itself is a quick and easy task too. Provided with the printer is a micro SD card with documentation, software and demo files. The Odin 5 comes with a copy of Focus Slicer, although you can also use more common Cura and Prusa Slicer software if you prefer, which are both popular programs available for free download. Note though that neither Cura nor Prusa Slicer have a profile for the Odin 5 yet, but I did find it worked perfectly using an Ender 3 profile for slicing the model and preparing it for printing. When it comes to actual printing though, models are extruded onto a heated bed surface, so prints tend to stick to the bed much better and you'll get less of the warping since the bottom layer of plastic is temperature regulated rather than cooling and bending off the bed, an issue I've had with non-heated beds in the past. In this example, the printer is box stock, no tweaking whatsoever. I simply found the supplied model on the memory card and hit print so straight out of the box settings and it seems to be performing really well. Just like printing anything in 3D, speed is dictated by the settings used and that in turn directly impacts on the quality of the output. So it'll take some time and some prints to get the speed and output quality the way you want it. Saying that, although the Odin 5 silent stepper motors do a lot to reduce noise, unfortunately the extruder fan is rather loud, so much so that I wouldn't recommend you use this printer in the bedroom or the office. Of course, you can replace this with a better fan setup, but the whole point of the Odin 5 is to be ready out of the box. It's not a huge issue, but do be aware that this printer does not have silent operation. Nevertheless, my impressions seem to grow fonder the more time I spent with this 3D printer. Things just seem to work straight out of the box with very little tweaking, perfect for the beginner target audience, and prints produced were finished really nicely with high levels of detail. Some had slight stringing to clean up depending on model overhangs, but on the whole, models were well detailed and pretty sharp from the get-go, and some tweaking would improve even further. To be fair, this is actually a surprisingly good 3D printer, especially when you take the budget level price tag into consideration. So while there's certainly a lot of potential here as a starter 3D printer, the Odin 5 does fall a bit short in some areas. The direct drive and coated glass bed surface makes printing easy, and the folding assembly solves a huge pain point for novice makers. And while the print quality on this machine is definitely good, the Odin 5 would be better if it also included full auto bed levelling something that's already becoming more common in hobby printers. So while this 3D printer does have its flaws, like the high noise level for instance, the affordability makes it a worthwhile investment. Unlike other budget options in this price range, the Odin 5 is prepared for high quality 3D printing right out of the box, and the high potential that this budget 3D printer offers makes it well worth the investment.